doing a little bit of a country ride and we found as usual the road that says cemetery road so we thought we'd travel up there and uh, have a bit of a look I'm not too sure what cemetery this is yet I haven't seen any signs out in this um, bushy area there's a couple of graves so we're going to head over here and just have a bit of a look and right at the back of the cemetery is a headstone nothing else around it although I do suspect from what we're feeling there's some hard marked burials here this is to the memory of Thomas Griffith native of Bangor North Wales born 1832 and died May 1884 this is right at the back of the cemetery and as you can see a lot of bush and Bev's just calling out hello 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 anybody here who wants to come and say hello Oh. Unmarked graves. Yeah. Yep. As soon as oh. I started walking through here, I was feeling there was a lot of unmarked graves, and there's some signs in the land here where there are unmarked graves, and Beth's feeling it straight off too. We'll go to the main part of the cemetery in a second. We'll have a bit of a look. Four marker. Some telltale signs of the old headstones just crumbled away one over there too There's a couple of new ones which we can see here so we'll just be a little bit respectful Give a little bit of peace and uh, respect to those who have passed here. Yeah, this is a great now just having a quick look at this cemetery because this is not our destination for today. It's just something we found along the way. And I dare say we will come back and have a bit of a proper look the name Hepburn in this area is very prominent there's a Hepburn Springs in the area sort of Donald Hepburn native of Scotland and Hepburn From Inverness and it looks like their kids William Annie and Mary all from the 1800s John Horsley and Hannah from England a couple of fresh graves here 2021 they haven't put anything around them yet so blessings to these people and it's right in front of memory of Lex son of Robert W and Annie Lorimer who died accidentally in Newstead and Robert William Warriner died in Campbelltown. Annie was born Middle Creek. On the side here, there's a little bit of a, I don't know if you can actually see it, also their loving daughter Nellie Merle, wife of Francis William Harriet, RAN. So they were in the Royal Australian Navy. He was born in Campbelltown and died in Melbourne. That's oh, a daughter, sorry. <laughs> right. 
uh, or maybe he was in the RAM, I'm not too sure. Probably Nelly died in 1980. So it's an old grave that it's been added to, which is lovely to see. Another little old headstone and grave from the 1890s. Mary Sinclair and daughter Kate. What an interesting cemetery. It's just as you're driving around, you quite often see a road that says Cemetery Road and it's like, right, we've got to stop. We've got to have a look. And some newer ones as well, 2005. 1990s, 2013. So it's still very used. Interesting little area. Can you this spot? Um, feels very much like Penny White Cemetery. Penny White, the children's cemetery. Yeah. Very country feel. Yeah, feels very much, very much like Penny White. They've got Wolf with her, with her. Yeah. Say hello, Wolf. All I can hear is growl, 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 <laughs> growl, 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 growl. It's cold. Is there an alternative? That's how he talks. Doll yeah. comes along with us. It's his, first, it's his first real investigation. Yeah, it's his first real jaunt yeah. into the country. And he's annoyed because I didn't put his, put his vest. It's also a lovely seat that's dedicated to the pioneering family Cummings and Robertson. Very cool. Got some cool little photos in there too. Oh look. Obviously Scottish. <laughs> Sir Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> expect anything else. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, there is uh, a little thing down here. Ginny is also buried in the cemetery in an unmarked grave. So we were feeling unmarked graves in this cemetery as we were walking around the back earlier and uh, it's just confirming there are unmarked graves here very good the park trees and the Cummings and Robertson commemorative seat are a gift to our family and the community from the Christie Donna, uh, Christine, Donna and Caroline um, in loving memory of our mother Jean Watts Nee Robertson to celebrate the 100th anniversary of her birthday on the 15th of September 1914. Must have been a lovely lady if she was born in September. Oh. <laughs> Another Virgo. <laughs> now the thing is, it's a lovely little country out here and this cemetery which you're not seeing right now, this is just part of the country just panning around a little bit um, it really feels very welcoming but at the same time it feels like uh, spirit don't really want to get in your face to try and communicate with you it's just a very peaceful loving cemetery so we decided not to do any spirit boxes or any paranormal um, gear detection and all that sort of stuff we just felt that uh, there were spirit around and there's certainly unmarked graves we could feel that very easily it's just a lovely little cemetery we'll come back to it one day and we'll uh, I'm sure we'll be driving out this way again through the country 
just amazing what you do find when you travel around. As we said before, as soon as we see a road that says Cemetery Road, we've got to investigate. Why not? Perhaps just finding a couple of quartz rocks to place on the cemetery gates and this is Glen Gower Cemetery. We didn't realise the name of the place beforehand but um, and we do this quite often just to give thanks for allowing us to be here and just to uh, acknowledge the presence of any spirit here and acknowledge the people who have died in the area and who have their graves here marked or unmarked. Happy? Yeah, Wolf isn't. Wolf's not happy, why? Because I forgot to put his vest on this morning. Oh, I forgot his vest. Oh well. <laughs> Ciao for now. This is an old railway station which uh, is definitely unused now as you can see by the tracks. Rebuilding some of that over there. I don't know what they're doing, but they've actually turned this one into a bit of an art station or an art precinct. So Beth's decided to do a little bit of a rod session. Decided she's got a couple of things out here, so she wants to try some rods. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Two elderly gentlemen that I saw sitting out the front here when we pulled up for you here. Hand to shake them. Are you here? Did you work at the train station? Are you on the railway? On the tracks? You engine drivers? Sorry, my hand's shaking. Are you engine drivers? Nope. You don't. Do you work on the tracks, track works? I've got a real shake in my left hand for some reason. It's not mine. Do one of you have, sh have a nerve damage in your left hand? Oh, look at that. Can you see mm. that? Yeah. That's so not me. Having your left hand shaking too. Yeah, that's not so me. So it's like spirits affecting your left hand. Yeah, that's not me. Is that you making my left hand shake? He's trying. Your left hand shaking. Yeah. Did you have a nerve? Did you have an injury? No. No, he can only move this one, he can't move the right one. Okay, was it a genetic thing? Yeah. Yep. Sort of to do as you got older? Yep. Yeah. Oh, check that out, I can feel that. Okay. That's not me. I can tell you that's not me. So I would like to thank you for speaking to us. Oh, check that out. Yeah. That's not me. So, Beth's feeling spirit beside her. He's trying to move. Uh, as you do, it's like when you connect to spirit, sometimes they will throw their aura at you and show you what they were feeling before they parted. Yeah. And now he's got the hang of it. Yep. And you're showing us that you had some nerve damage issues. Yeah. Yep. So now Is it part of a genetic thing, like like a um, it was like a Parkinson's disease or something like that. Right in the family. Yeah, yeah. some sort of a disease. Yeah. Does number 24 mean anything to you, mate? Yeah. <clears throat> was that the track you worked on? I'll have to look that up. Hmm, okay. It's a lovely area in Newstead. Did you live here? Yeah. Yeah. That's not me moving that. 
I just want to make that really yeah. clear that's not me. I don't shake when I do this. Do you get many people coming out here trying to talk to you? No. No. He can only <laughs> he can only move the left one. Yeah, he can't move the right that's one. That's all right. right. He's trying, but it's like no, the we, left is. We just want to quickly send you some blessings, and just hope that you can reunite with family in your own time. Does the name Clary mean something to you? Is that your name? Yeah. Are you smoking? Can you smell that? Yeah, I do smell a bit of smoke, yeah. yeah. Cigarette smoke. Yeah. Pipe smoke. Yeah. Is it pipe smoke? Yeah. Pipe? Yep. Yeah. yeah, right hand doesn't move at all. Are you buried in the cemetery that Yes. You that we are going to have a look at shortly? I don't know. Alright. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Beth doesn't know where we go. No, I have no. no well, idea. I have. I have my evil plans. <laughs> He's laughing. We might try and find your name on one of the headstones. Is Clary? Is we'll Clary? Is Clary short for Clarence? Okay. You can come with us to the cemetery if you like. No. No? Don't <laughs> he, like it? He likes hanging out here. Don't like it? Like it here? Yeah. This is where he's happiest. Do you like it here? Yeah. No? Hang on. <laughs> Do you Do like, like it, it here? here? Yeah. Yep. He's got, it's a shake. It's a real. This is where you were. Yeah. Oh, it's he's got both of them. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us. Cheers. This is a Newstead General Cemetery. Let's check it out. This is nice, little stone dedicated to all who were laid to rest within the public section of this cemetery. Oh, they got palm trees here. Yeah, you've got a couple of big palm trees up there. There's a story behind those. There could be. We'll have to discover the story. I know the story. It's the grave of William Clary. Harriet Clary. George and Martha. Didn't you say that um, railway dude's name was Clary? Clary. Clary. Yeah. Well, I've got a Clary here, William Clary. <laughs> You're kidding. Well, I'll be stuffed. That's Could this be the guy that we picked up with the uh, rods? Clary or... Oh, Clary. Clary. It's not Clary. Clary. We got no for Clarence. We got a William Clary. There you go, I'll be oh. freaking stuffed. Oh, the there you second go. grave we've come to. Wow. William Clary. Harriet. Harriet. George and Martha. And George and Martha. There you go. Well, well whoever you are. That's just as good as John West at the last one. Pretty, pretty cool, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he did say his name was Clary. I got some kind of ability then. <laughs> <laughs> well,. You did get that with your spiritual senses. <laughs> now, we've got, I don't know if you can see that, but we've got heaps of these little stones here. Yeah. And all along this little field area here, all over the cemetery actually, and we're sort of thinking that they are unmarked graves because there's no numbers or anything on it. Usually, if they've got numbers on it, they're plots that are waiting in waiting. Um, but these stones here kind of believe that they're unmarked graves. 
Let's go explore. We'll see if Clary comes along with us. What do you reckon, Wolf? William, George. Beatrice. Murray Bishop. Oh, there's a name for you. What's this? Oh, it's a McQueen. So we've got Bridget, Beatrice, and Irene. Pretty oh, substantial. And there we go. And Daniel. What a lovely little looking cemetery. It's Campbell, it's another Christina Campbell here. Henry. There's quite a few Campbells in the area. Yep. Blair's another one you see a lot. A couple of old ones here. You'll have to excuse the movement on the camera as we're going through. It's all cool. It's a McDonald. Local wildlife. Local wildlife. Out of his hole. Here's our big widgety grub. Yeah, it got washed out of the hole. Righty -o. Of hole. So, if anybody has never seen a widgety grub, yep. here's a widgety grub. Very yeah, there's dead. A hole. There's a whole lot of them all over the place. But, they it's a widgety grub. There's another one over there. Another one. Oh, look. A little overshot. Oh, oh, be buggered. There's big holes in there the There you ground. go. They come out of the ground. There's a part of one there too. Yeah. Half up, half out. Witchetty grub territory. Yeah, great. Lucky I'm getting over <laughs> my fear of bugs, hey? <laughs> Duncan McDonald. Don't get much much from this. We've got a Margaret, a Frederick. A myrtle? I haven't had a myrtle. These are a bit newer. Okay, a couple of newer ones here. 2007. Just as we're walking through the cemetery, we give a lot of respect to all those who are laid here in marked or unmarked graves. John and Eleanor Salisburn, I think. Some substantial graves here. John and Mary Ann White. John Weiss. Beloved by all who knew him as four man this day's his days are as crass as a flower of the field. So he flourish, flourisheth, flourisheth, for the wind passeth over it and it is gone. And the place therefore thereof shall know it no more. I don't like all this biblical writing. Can't quite read it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh gee, here we go. A couple of fresh graves here. A couple of older ones up the back. And a couple of new ones up the back as well. A couple more substantial ones. Richard A. Cooper just reminded me of Alice Cooper. James Charles House over there, that's the big one. Now in this cemetery we've got a couple of big pine trees and Beth thinks she knows what's going on with these pine trees in some cemeteries. Once she's done her shoelaces. Well, you know, I'm not as not <laughs> right. talented as I thought I was. 
So, Wolf and Beth are going to tell the story of the pine trees. Well, the, the palm trees during at the end of World War One, a whole lot of the soldiers brought palm like dates and stuff back from where they were stationed. And it was a sign that the war was over. So a lot of older houses and a lot of older cemeteries have palm trees planted in them as a mark of World War One being over. So a mark of the end of the war because they were something that we didn't have in Australia. So a lot of, they're in a lot of backyards. My grandmother had, had one in her backyard that they planted around the same time because it was the end of the war and that's just what you did. So there's a lot of them that are still... Cool. So yeah. there's a reason for palm trees being around in cemeteries and backyards? Yeah, older houses have them. You'll find a lot of older, really older style 1940s, 1950s houses all yep. have a palm tree in the backyard. Cool. Yeah. How cool. This is a... So we've got a grave here and um, it's a private. There's a private in this grave as well. So that's just emphasising, this is from 1918, so that's emphasising something maybe to do with these palm trees. Bad size cemetery actually. Okay, Beth's going to have a seat because she's struggling walking around at the minute, so I'm going to have a bit of a wander through here. Doing a little just box here, seeing a lot of love and blessings to the people who are buried here. Some old, some new, and have a bit of a wander around. If you like. Yep, sure. Mm. Give it a go. Do you want to hold it up? Just hold it. Okay. Hello, my name's Bethany. This is Rick. Yes, yep, yeah. that's it. Is there anyone who'd like to say hello? Can you call out your name or my name? Oh, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I had the S box on before and every time I turned it on, a little thing come up on the phone saying that it was low battery. And now I've got the necrophonics on, the low battery's not showing. Are you trying to tell us that you didn't like all that static on the first box?
Thought I heard a yep. Yeah. I met a gentleman at the train station this, this morning. He's like, he told me his name was Clary. Is that the gentleman that... Is that the gentleman that's buried in the grave near the fence line at the front? William Clary? He didn't want to come back to the cemetery with us. He worked on the train, on the railway. Rob. It's a very peaceful cult place out here. Do you like it out here? Lots of sheep around here, that's for sure. <laughs> William. William. Yeah, William Clary, do you know him? Hmm. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Maybe when we listen back, we might pick something up. Yeah. Is there anyone here that would like to say hello to us? Yeah, just call out your name. Let us know you're here. No. No. It's okay. It's all right. We've just come for a bit of a look. We're sort of doing a bit of a country drive today, and we found the cemetery here. We thought we'd come and send our respects. And our love. Yeah. Gentlemen standing on the hill, do you want to come down and say hello? This is where the rocks are, though. He's looking at us. You guys standing on the hill there. Okay, we've got to turn the necrophonics off in a minute. Is there anything you'd like to say, or even if it just is hello? I'd like to thank you for having us here. No, we're not going to take anything. No, we wouldn't take anything here. We're too respectful. We won't take anything, it's not ours. Thanks for talking to us. There's a little blue wren on the fence line now. Yeah, there is, yeah. <laughs> we just walk over this way a bit. Says <laughs> yeah, Necrophonics just said wren and we were just mentioning there was a uh, little blue wren sitting on the fence line. Which you probably won't see unless I can get close enough to it. But just want to have a quick look at these ones. Henry and Jesse. A couple of substantial ones than William. And I nearly walked over this one. So, pardon me. Some new graves around, which we, we don't tend to have a look at some of the new graves. Um, just for respect. This area here, you can see there's mounds, so there's unmarked graves. Possibly people who haven't quite had the money to put any form of substantial grave around the bodies or any markings. Perhaps there were people who passed away who had no family. Some older ones there. If 
found it interesting when I had the S box on that um, the phone kept coming up out of battery and I kept turning it off just hoping to get that last little scrap of battery in and as soon as I turned off the S box it was fine this is another section just up the road and it's away from the main cemetery um, the main Newstead cemetery and this is a Roman Catholic section so we're not actually going to walk in that little plot there because there's a another section a little bit further around the corner we're going to explore as well it's really strange because it's sort of like there's cemeteries on by the looks of it three different blocks and the Catholics just have to be by themselves of course yeah just thought I'd throw that in car but we found this and it says tribute to those who lay beneath may they have found peace so this is another um it's like another unmarked area because there's these little like in the other section and these little markers all through it so that's another unmarked area i'd say okay i haven't got much charge left on this it keeps dropping out on me but this section down here there was a roman catholic section which you just saw bethany filmed the oldest section over there the main section this here is a chinese burial ground really interesting dedicated to the chinese and in the grounds here there's a couple of um markers as well but they're unmarked just like before the unmarked tiles showing where people were buried and up on this hill here just it looks like there's a few graves up on that hill there too which we're not going to be able to there's something up there i'll try and and pull it up but I don't know if you could see it down there but there's something over there wherever I think it's graves more graves up in the hillsides there too so we're gonna to have to come back and explore um, <laughs> yep we're running right out of um, battery power here I've got to charge it up for one more quick cemetery but what an interesting place I mean it starts off down through the trees there down to the bottom down here is the Roman Catholic section these are all separate paddocks Chinese section and up through the top here there seems to be more graves up on the hillside there it's really interesting see if I can get this charged up in the car and we'll stop at one more cemetery on the way back you're expecting me to walk, walk right oh, of course you can yeah. walk yeah of course yeah you're expecting... bring a wheelchair next time oh shut up <laughs> so there's a few different sections to the cemetery uh, just in this block of land here we think this is a suicide section there's a lot of little yeah there's a lot of little um unmarked graves here and they've got a little little stone no names or anything of course um got a feeling that's the suicide section this that we're coming up to here is a roman catholic section up the back there was a chinese section well that's the main and that's the main cemetery. so that's the roman catholic they need to be on their own they reckon but there's some interesting stuff going on up in the hills up there and I've got a feeling there's some graves up there so one day we're going to come back and do a bit of a prowl around so you're going to get just me a, you're going to get me a four wheel drive go right coming up to a lot of kangaroos around we've found yeah. a lot of witchy grubs yeah very um, awesome. very awesome yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
for a more to um, Yeah, so that's the main part of the cemetery we're just driving past now. And, uh, yeah, we're trying not to drive into the little creek here. Oh, a little creek. This is a little creek. This is a tiny creek. Um, yeah, so, that was new instead. General Cemetery, we will explore it a little bit more. My um, camera kept guy dying. Perhaps they didn't want it all to us. It's Clary's grave. It's just over here. Oh, this one just over here. A little solitary one just at the front here. We reckon he's the one. And yeah, we reckon he's the one from the railway station that Beth was talking to on the rods. He said, yeah, he had the shakes, he had Parkinson's or something. Anyway, this is part of the Australian countryside. Yeah. Eucalyptus trees and not much of an kangaroo. Yeah, lots of eucalyptus trees, gum trees. Lots of flood hey, roads. Hey, that's cool. That's a tree. That's yeah, this cool. tree's pretty cool. Isn't it? That's cool. That looks that's cool. all right. That yeah, is. That's cool. And of course up along these roads here you get these markers show you how high the water can rise so these are flood prone roads in the dead of winter so that makes it quite interesting if you try to get the body out to the cemetery you might have to take a rowboat Anyway, this is Australia. Too. Is your name George? Yes, thank you. Harry, you definitely taking some photos. Look at that the Trent and Cemetery between the Dean and the Then you got one going that direction, then you got another one 